Hey, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. Today, why are the lights red? Oh, we'll get to that. We're drinking bourbon. All right, red lights today. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be something special. Yes. Red, the color of blood, Ooh. because it's kind of a special occasion. This is the premiere date of the new Dexter season. TV show. Yeah, yeah, so if anybody's a fan of Dexter, which I'm sure a lot of people are, otherwise they probably wouldn't have brought the show back. Um, anyway, show's been off the air for eight years or so, give or take, and now they're bringing it back for one final season because they didn't really like the way it ended. And that was my favorite TV show, so I am super excited. So we went with all red, the color of blood for Dexter. And we went with as a, a special bourbon. As a tie-in. Yes. We have, bam, this is Dexter bourbon. We should point out, yes, this is called Dexter. It's named after a guy named Dexter. It has absolutely nothing to do with the Showtime. Yeah. Whatever the, the TV show is, totally different. Yep. Just kind of figured, I've actually been wanting to try this one. Yeah, totally. And so it's kind of a cool I was like... This is a great excuse to bust this bottle out. This is something Greg and I have never had before. Yep, it will be a uncorking, yeah. live and in person. Yeah, so this is named after Edmund Dexter. I am not sure exactly who that is, but according to their, their story, he was a master whiskey blender, not a distiller. In like 1876. Yeah, so I tend to try to not get my hopes up too much for anything, Yeah. whether it's a movie or a TV show later on tonight, Yep. or a bourbon, mm -hmm. but these guys kind of made it difficult to not get my hopes up, because it says on their website, this is, and then it's all caps, one of the best bourbons in the world. It's hard, they need to back that up. Well, and then they said they would show up to a shootout at high noon with any bourbon in the world. Wow. So some stats on this, this is 100.6, 100.6, and it's straight bourbon whiskey finished with 200 year oak, maple wood, and cherry wood. So we're guessing they put staves in, like probably at the end after the normal aging. Yeah. Then they put in some wood staves, including some 200 year old oak. Which yep. I guess that's just a really old tree. So this is from Brain Brew Distillery. They are out of Cincinnati. And another The one in thing, Ohio, yes. not the other one. The other thing that makes this kind of cool is that this is only available in Minnesota, New Hampshire, and select parts of Southern Ohio. So, how many times have we done a bourbon on this channel where we've had to say, this is not available in Minnesota, but it's excellent. So I'm really hoping this is great so we can have at least something to brag about. So let's get into it here. Insert the Nelson laugh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Nice cork pop, real cork. Real cork. All right. Let's see if this holds up. Ooh, it's got some color to it. It's got an amber. Yeah. Sometimes the like the double oak or double oak or the stave <clears throat> kind of stuff, it gets a more of a cherry note, but this mm -hmm. is still blended. I'm blessing you, but <clears throat> excuse me. All right. Excited to go in for this first sniff here. Yeah, here we go. Got a nice bourbon nose to it. That would have been not as good of a name for our channel. The bourbon nose. The bourbon nose. Yeah. Unless you spelled it with a K. It's a missed opportunity on our part. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting brown a, sugar. Yeah, some dark. There's almost a... Are you getting maybe a bit of a coffee note in there? There's something kind of <coughs> bold that's sticking out. Now, this is also a 36% rye. That's true. Very yeah, high rye. I've not rye. got the grassy rye kind of note yet. Yeah, it doesn't... It's not a punch in the face with rye on the nose mm -hmm. like I would have maybe expected it to be. The, the dominant, what I'm getting so far is brown sugar and almost like a molasses. Yeah. Kind of a really rich smell, but I don't know. There's some nice oak, maybe a bit of cherry too. I'm going for it. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> One of the best bourbons in the world, cheers. There's the rye. Wow, that is pretty impressive. That has an amazing finish to it. Like kind of a sharp building rye spice finish. 
I agree with the finish. Long. <laughs> yeah. It's got a good mouthfeel. It's oily. Yeah, I noticed that too. Eat. I didn't get any rye on the nose, but this almost drinks like a rye whiskey. Yeah, and you know what? Go back to it now after you've tasted it. Could be. Yeah. Definitely a little more rye on the nose now. Yeah. Let's go in for another sip here. And... There's definitely, there's, it's, it's, it's a strong flavor profile. Mm -hmm. Lots of strong flavors. Like it's a hundred and, what is a hundred point six it was? So it's not, you know, high proof. Right. But boy, it's got a lot going on for, you know, a hundred proof is a good proof point. You yeah. get a lot of flavor out of that. Yeah. But I mean, it really has a lot of heat to it, which is nice. I like that. Sure. Uh, very rye forward on the palate, but there's maybe some like dark, chocolate almost or there's mm -hmm. something really dark there's about rich, it richness to on the i gotta be honest i feel like it's almost a blend of two different things mm -hmm. like i get bourbon flavors bourbon notes and then rye whiskey notes yeah and it's like a blend and yeah not like high rye bourbon but rye whiskey exactly yeah and and it's there's two different paths you get the rye stuff which is the spice mm-hmm and a really rich bourbon, but there doesn't seem to be anything in between them. Like it's not the most connected. Hmm. There's lots of flavors, but they seem distinct. It really has a nice bite to it though, that, yeah. I, that I'm really liking. <clears throat> it's got a nice bite when you swallow it and then that wave of heat um, that comes back up. Your tongue is still kind of a little bit hot, like cinnamon hot maybe a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Um, it's, it's got a great finish to it. I, I will say for someone who's maybe a tad more experienced in tasting, tasting whiskeys, mm -hmm. this is a, something to pull out because yeah. it has some nuance and some, it's a little bit different than your normal bourbon. It's definitely, there's a darkness to it. Do you get that? Yeah. Like this isn't like a bright, shiny bourbon or whiskey yeah. or yep. rye. Like, you know, sometimes you get that where it's kind of like a light, flavorful, but more of a lighter, yeah. light, fruity notes. This has got a really dark. Dark, but not heavy, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's really, I think it's really good actually. It is really interesting. I like it, but I, I'm reaching the point where I don't like, I like high rye bourbons, but I tend not to like rye whiskeys. Like I feel it needs the corn syrup in there to like save it. And this one is borderline for me. Okay. A little just too much on the rye because rye yeah, is just exactly. not your favorite. Yeah, exactly. Now when I'm going back to it, I'm getting uh, some of those clove notes that you get with a rye, which I didn't really get up front. Black pepper. Coats the glass nicely. Yeah. Definitely getting more of the black pepper now that I've had several sips. Yeah, I, you know what? I feel like the, that rye punch is kind of off and on from sip to sip. Yeah. Like sometimes it's just all rye. Mm -hmm. And like that time it was just kind of that darker chocolate. Yeah. Definitely that rye spice on it, but not so much the rye flavor, but just the spice that comes along with it. Sure. But I, I think this is really good. It's definitely different. It's in a category of its own, but I think I'm gonna enjoy drinking this just for that mouth feel and that bite and that incredible finish. Totally. Like it's a, from the very front to the very end of it, it's kind of a full bodied experience. Yep. You know what I mean? Like I it agree. doesn't just fall off. It's, there's nothing weak about it or flat about it. So I think if you like a darker flavor profile and you like rye, mm -hmm. this is definitely one to try. Agreed. So I think it's pretty cool that we have this in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter like, on Dexter Day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. And, and so you know what we can do? What can is we do? We can tag in this video when we post it, Dexter Review. There you go. Because people are going to be wanting to know what the oh, yeah. how the show was. Yeah. So then they type in there and we'll just throw the algorithm all off. And That's okay. people will come to our channel and they will subscribe and Welcome. Drove. Thank you yeah. for watching. So. Drink more bourbon. I would, I would definitely, if you're a 
whiskey connoisseur, you like bourbons and ryes, I would definitely recommend trying this. I, I think this is a great one to experiment with because it, it does push the boundaries a tad from your traditional bourbon. Mm, yeah, oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is not a traditional bourbon, but it's really good, I'm really impressed. I don't know what the age of the actual yeah. juice but is. But it doesn't taste young. I'm not getting no, any like young not flavor. at all. There's nothing weak about this. Right. I think this has no weaknesses. It's just that the strong points, it's whether or not they're in your flavor profile. Yep, agreed. Uh, so yeah, I would say if you're a you know a whiskey connoisseur, you like all different kinds of whiskey and bourbons and rye in particular, this is definitely something to try. Approximate price, I think. It was 50 bucks. Okay. So mid-range price, not sure. bad. Yep. And I think for the limited quantities and the you know. They can only do so much of this, I'm, I'm sure, because it sounds like they distill and age in barrel Seems and bottle like their own yeah. distillate. So I know it's in limited quantities, and like I said, it's only available in Minnesota, New Hampshire, and Southern Ohio. So if you live in any of those places and you see this around, definitely pick it up and give it a shot. Totally. All right, well, this has been Dexter Bourbon on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>